I'm here with Dr. Romano to do a video on spectroscopy. Hi, I'm Dr. Romano, a professor of organic chemistry here at Romano Scientific and the creator of the Orgoman products and the Dat Destroyer book author. I'd like to go over a problem with you today in multiple choice form on NMR spectroscopy. There's actually books written on spectroscopy. As you can see, this is one such book on spectroscopy by Dr. Pavia, which is probably the best book for spectroscopy. We don't need to get into the big details of spectroscopy. All we gotta do for the dad is to pick out the choice. We'll give you the candidates in multiple choice form and you just gotta pick them out. I think the best way to do a question on spectroscopy is to actually do it by the process of elimination. So come around and let me show you how we'll go about doing it. Say for instance, this represented a DAT question. And I said to you, we have a C10 H14O. And I gave you this information and it says the IR is 3400 and it's broad. Right off the bat, that tells me that it's most likely going to be an alcohol group. So I look at all these choices. Well, I see most of them are alcohols, but this one isn't. So I'm very suspect that this one could be eliminated. Now, when I look at the NMR data, I see a whole bunch of data and I remembered that an aldehyde group comes in at around 9 to 11. So I can, without even thinking, we know that this is not an aldehyde group, so an aldehyde group is gone. Okay, the next thing that I want to do on this compound, what I want to do for this compound is, let's get the degree of unsaturation. So I went C10, age 14. Now I've shown this on another video. If you don't understand it, um, I want you to go to that video. You don't use an O. The nearest alkane would be double plus two. That would give me the difference of eight. And we get four degrees of unsaturation. And the minute you see a benzene ring, that would support four degrees of, of unsaturation. And it says here in the NMR data, 7.2. Well, they all are benzene rings, so that's not going to help me too much. Then it says five H's. So five H's means that it's a mono-substituted benzene ring. Huh. They're all mono-substituted, so that doesn't help me either. The next thing I do is I'm going to go to one of them and try to show you how I would get process of elimination. If you just went to this one right here, this CH2 is next to a CH2. So that would be a triplet. And if you look at the data, we have all singlets. There's no triplet in the data. So I can automatically eliminate choice A. And if we go to this one, well, this CH3 would give a triplet. And then this CH2 group, well, it's next to three. So that would be a quartet and it's next to two, so that would be a quartet of doublets or a multiplet. I don't see that either. It's gotta be this, but let's check it. Now, these H's would give a singlet, and those two H's would give a singlet, and that's supported, and they tell me that there's two H singlet at around 2.7. Then they say to me that there is one H that's gonna give a singlet at 3.6, well, that would be this one H here. That would be a singlet. And then it says six H's singlets. Well, these are your six H's. And notice, if you looked at one of these carbons, you jump to your next door neighboring carbon. There's no H, so it will be a singlet. And that would check out. So the correct answer would be choice letter D. I hope you get an idea of how to go about doing it on the DAT. It'll be very easy. Um, in my other videos, I showed you some more exotic ways to go about doing it for a little bit tougher, but this will be a good question to whet your beak a little bit if you wanted to see a very nice, gentle, easy problem on NMR and IR spectroscopy, how I use them to identify a compound. All right, good day to you. If you got questions, hit me up in the study group. Bye-bye.